Good day, students. Ah. Welcome to Wizarding Basics 101 here at the College of Magical Arts. Today's lecture is the 114th of the series dealing with package delivery in both the mundane and magical worlds. In the mundane world, having a package delivered is rather cut and dried. One can use one of three methods. The most popular is the United States Postal Service. One addresses the package and either affixes stamps and then delivers it to the post office or delivers it to the post office and pays a fee. They then deliver said package in a matter of days. Next is the private firm FedEx. This works much in the same way, but any package may wind up delivered to a neighbor or a business across town or even another company and country if it is delivered at all. <sighs> then there is the third option. UPS pronounced oops which tells you the likely condition of said package once delivered. Now, having a package delivered in the more fantastical realms, such as Fairyland, is far more complicated. Any delivery to that realm must first go under hill and thence along the high road, taking into consideration delays to troll bridges, attacks by red caps and fukas or the possible attack and chase of the wild hunt. Once you arrive at the package departure point, one must decide upon a delivery method. Several are available, such as the pixie or for waterborne delivery, mermaid. However, even those have drawbacks. Pixie delivery puts your package into the care of a being given to wanderings, interruptions, possibly even forgetfulness, as they are so small as to be able to maintain a single thought or emotion at a time. As for the mermaids, it is true they are quite economical, working for scale, but the actual handoff of the package puts one at risk of being grabbed and drowned, and, of course, no one likes a wet package. For the best results, one should rely on a gnome. Gnomes are well known to be able to traverse all sports of landscapes quickly and without detection. A single gnome will deliver your package unerringly and quickly. So quickly, in fact, that a saying has arisen about their mode of transport. There is no pace like gnome. 